So we're going to have a quick look at some different style beer glasses. Basically there's uh, no right or wrong when it comes to beer glasses um, and how you want to serve your beer. You can put it in whatever you want. Um, but there are a few guidelines I guess that people sort of follow in terms of styles of beer. So ones like this, a short glass, your typical schooner glass, um, perhaps your beer can glass. Um, they're sort of pretty much all rounders. You can serve any style of beer in there, lagers. Um, pale ales, whatever you like. Um, the more rounded glasses, like this one here and this one here, tend to suit sort of the darker, fuller flavoured beers, um, you know, reds, browns, stouts, that sort of stuff. Um, and then we've got over on the other end our tall glasses, like um, these, which are really designed for pilsners, wheat beers, that sort of thing. Um, the reasoning behind all of that is basically uh, around the um, smell and the flavour profiles that you get with beers. The taller, narrower ones tend to keep your nose out of it, where the deeper, thicker ones, rounder glasses, uh, allow you to get your nose right in there for some really uh, good um, smelling and tasting of the beer. But the one I'm going to have a look at today is this gla glass, which is um, made by Spiegelau, and it's the IPA glass with the ribbed bottom here and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a profile on this glass so how um, beer. Um, we're going to have a look at some different styles of beer glasses um, I just ran you through uh, some of the average some of the typical styles um, and you can sort of see them here in the background um, but the one I'm going to focus on here today is this one um, it's an IPA glass uh, made by Spiegelau this one's got a Sierra Nevada logo on it you could have might have picked one of these up if you um, Bought. They had a special going at some stage, but basically, um, I want to talk about the IPA glass itself. So, in the name of science, I'm gonna have an IPA. In fact, a double IPA and probably one of Australia's best double IPAs. So, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a, a, as best a demonstration as I can with this. So, hopefully, I get the pour right and. Uh, See it going into the glass there. <clears throat> okay, now the idea is these Spiegelau glasses were designed in conjunction with one of the major uh, American brewers and uh, was designed to accentuate the flavours out of the IPA um, and, uh, and also make it a good drinking glass. So um, I probably over poured this a little bit to do the full thing, so we'll pause halfway through. But you can see there it gets plenty of good head which you want in your in your beer. Um, like a red wine glass, it sort of comes in a little bit at the top, but it's open at the bottom. Let, <clears throat> that allows for lots of <clears throat> those beautiful esters and those hoppy aromas to be caught in the glass. Um, and you can see there the way the head sits nicely in the glass. Um, full of flavour and you're going to get a big whiff of that in your glass. So <clears throat> a good pour with a good head is going to give you a good start. <clears throat> I'm going to have a sip now and I'll come back to you again in a minute. <clears throat> Alright, you can see I'm about halfway down the glass now, perhaps a little bit less than that. The head's still there, it's lacing pretty well which means the, the foam head's leaving a mark all the way down the beer. You can see there's still plenty of head in there and if you give it a bit of a swirl as you go, lots of great aroma still in there. So that's what it looks like about halfway down and enjoying this beer immensely. As you see now, I'm getting a little bit close towards the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you when I drink this, as the beer goes up to the side, what happens is with these ribbings at the bottom, it regenerates the head as you put the beer down. So you lift it, you lift it up and you, when you drop it back, it'll regenerate the head. So I'll do it in real time and then we'll do it in slow-mo as well. See that? See how it regenerates the head? That's one of the keys to this type of glass. Basically what you're doing is by regenerating the head, you're re regenerating the aromas, the hops, the flavour, building it back up into the glass so that next time you go to have it, it's just as good as the first time. I'm going to show you that in slow motion too. So there it is in the name of science. Um, 
people, some people think it's a wank, some people uh, believe in it. Personally, I think the best thing about these glasses is the way they regenerate that head every time, gives you more um, aroma, gives you more head, gives you more flavour, um, and that's a good thing. And so, um, yeah, I'd definitely recommend the style um, of glass for IPA. I actually use it for a, a lot of different um, beers, some of the darker beers as well. Um, I wouldn't use it on, say, something like a Pilsner or a Pale Ale, probably. Um, but, you know, the way that it works in the glass, um, I think, definitely enhances the smell and the flavour, and that's got to be a good thing for your beer. So, that's my story about the Spegelau glass. Um, they do seem to be a little bit fragile, and, and uh, there's plenty of breakages uh, people complain about. But, um, yeah, around about sort of 12, 15 bucks a glass, depending on where you get them from. Um, but, uh, yeah, I reckon they're worthwhile. So uh, that's the story on the IPA glass. And uh, at some stage, I'll do some more reviews on some of the other glasses as well. Remember, life's too short to drink bad beer. Cheers.